What's up everybody, Derek Ting here. So this video is about how to add titles uh, in DaVinci Resolve. We're continuing to add to the DaVinci Resolve editing basics tutorials that I've created. Um, before we start, I hope you'll smash that like button and then you'll subscribe for more videos like this on the way. Um, and so uh, let's start. So we're gonna go over into the titles section of your toolbox. And when you click on titles, you'll see there's a whole bunch of choices and um, pretty much in the Fusion titles, it's a lot of uh, animated stuff. And then here in these, these are your standard go-to titles. So I'm gonna go to the most basic title and it's called text. And um, I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna drag it into the timeline like so. And so if your playhead is here, um, then you're going to automatically see in your uh, viewer, in your timeline viewer, uh, the, um, the title pop up. And it's come up with a very generic um, uh, title because that's, that's what's typed in there so far. So now we're going to next go click on the video piece and then click on Inspector. And then within Inspector, you can adjust all the different... Um, things about that title. So for example, um, you know, you might type in name or whatever type of text that you want. Um, and then, uh, then you can choose what font it should be. So you're going to change it. Let's try just, you know, general font face, the color of the text, the size, um, how it track, you know, the tracking line space and a lot of the stuff that you would normally do in Microsoft Word. And then um, I think the most important thing is how do you adjust the position? Let's say, for example, I want to move this to um, down here, for example, right? So then I would um, use the X and Y coordinates to adjust the location. And it's going to vary based on whatever um, you know, title that you choose from over here. And you can also change the size here as well. And I would use that if you are using keyframes that's obviously a different tutorial but um, that's when you would use the zoom versus the size of the actual um, letters um, and then uh, you know I usually like to add a little bit of offset here um, for the drop shadow and that's really to create separation um, you can't see it as well here but you know it's pretty much a shadow um, and so um, beyond that, I don't usually play too much with these others like stroke and background, but you can play with those. You can see what they do, but those are, you know, those are different controls you can use to uh, manipulate the titles. Uh, again, I'm just being completely basic and then you can explore and do what's right for you. So now I'm going to maximize the timeline and then <clears throat> within the within the video, um, you know, I think what you would want to do is kind of just change the different lengths. And that's just by holding over uh, with your mouse or your trackpad um, on the edges here and um, deciding how long it's going to be. And typically, um, you know, as a standard animation, you might like control and click or right click for your Windows guys and add a cross, uh, cross dissolve here on both sides. So control click choose 12 frames, six frames, whatever you want. And then um, we're gonna press space bar just to play it back and you see it comes in and comes out. Yep. So um, yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. Um, you know, I encourage you to try out these different types of titles and drag them over to the timeline and see what they do for you. And you'll, you'll be, you'll cut, you know, customize and tweak. Um, what works best for you. So I hope you'll like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to put up obviously more different um, tutorials on the way. And so I'll talk to you next time.